KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take a check on the view. Cloudy skies, which we pretty much had all day. That kept everybody's temperature right about the same. No big uh, ranges here. Overnight lows, 50s. Daytime highs right around 70 degrees, give or take a degree or two. And that includes the entire coast going down to Carmel. Uh, Big Sur, a little warmer, 78, but everybody else between about, uh, again, 70 and 73 degrees. Inland valleys, uh, mostly, again, 70s. The warmest spots down around King City at 78 after overnight lows in the middle 50s. And everybody, again, had the overcast as we went through the day, mostly that higher overcast. 68 in San Jose today. We had 72 in Gilroy and 75 for Hollis. The rest of the state, uh, the southern half still warm, doing 80s, 90s. Tahoe, a little cooler with mostly 60s. In fact, uh, you know, just 61 at the high there today. 70s for Sacramento and a 68 in San Francisco. Coolish, I would say, out west with 50s and 60s. And a lot of clouds and a lot of rain back east with 62 St. Louis today and only 50s in Chicago. We'll kind of do a little uh, tutorial here on the radar because we're going to be looking at ours and theirs. You see theirs, yellows and greens, that's actually rain reaching the ground. Those are rainfall rates uh, that are strong enough to reach the surface. And there's a lot of it. So if you've got air travel tomorrow, Chicago, any part of pretty much Ohio, heading into Pennsylvania, you've got a lot of rain to contend with and some gusty winds too. So take that into account. We switch gears, get back to the the West Coast, and you go, oh, wow, look at all of this moisture. Well, yeah, moisture in the form of clouds, but the blues on the radar just basically indicate some moisture in the clouds it could be falling down a little bit. We call it Virga. It's falling into air that is not saturated below it and evaporates. You look up to the north, yeah, rain headed towards Portland and Seattle, and that's the actual cold front way up to our north. So that's the better chance for us to get some rain, and that'll be coming in tomorrow morning. We'll take a look at the rest of the overall picture here because now we start looking up to the north. We do have good energy in the jet stream out here, and we got a couple of good solid areas of low pressure. A couple of these were gales. One was a storm actually with 50, 60 mile an hour winds. That's what's also providing all of that swell. So all of the energy is really out here. Our front is not working with a lot. It does have some rain involved with it, but not the kind of rain we really want to get into just yet. There goes the low again during the night tonight and it'll pass us by. High pressure builds back in. We got a nice weekend coming up after a couple of cloudy days here and some showers. High pressure builds in. We warm up Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The good part of our forecast uh, for me anyways is looking at the next low that's going to drop down hopefully. Now here's a real cold front. We got southerly winds ahead of it. We got cold air here. If this gets into Tahoe on Sunday night, Monday, snow levels will be down to the lake level and we could see a good decent bit of rain. Again, it's five, six days out, but I like to see the pattern shift now as we get into late October, early November. Again, local Doppler radar showing what looks like it's raining out there. Not a drop to be found anywhere as far as I could tell. Now, that's not to say we couldn't do a sprinkle or a shower overnight, certainly. And again, microcast tries to spin up a shower or sprinkle. The main front comes through, 7 o'clock, so Bay Area getting it, and then we will during the morning rush. Not a big deal, goes through pretty quickly, but if it hits right during the morning rush, you know things will be slick. So you may want to leave yourself a little extra time for tomorrow. We still got 70s and 80s going throughout the state tomorrow, so this isn't a monster cold front in terms of dropping temperatures. Cloudy tonight, chance of a few showers. Our best chance tomorrow is going to be some light rain probably in the morning and then just tapering off to a shower or two. And that's our best bet of getting about a tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch up in the hills and the highest peaks. And that is not much for them, but at least it's a start. Uh, as we go through the day, clouds could break up a little bit. We could even see a peak of sun late in the day. So it goes from uh, some raindrops to maybe a few uh, sunbeams at sundown. 70 in Salinas, 74 in King City. We'll put the drops in, at least potentially for everybody, but the best chance again during the morning with the oil on the roads. It could be slick even with just a light rain. Mid 60s, Ben Lomond and Boulder Creek. The hills are cooling off and 70 in Watsonville. Your seven day forecast, again showing that high pressure ridge building in, in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, looking really nice. Now, Sunday increasing clouds. The, front, the next one probably comes in Sunday night into Monday, so probably no rain over the weekend. But look at next Tuesday's numbers 50s and 60s. So that's, yeah. that's cool. And overnight lows will be in the upper 30s and upper 40s for us. That's all the way out towards next week. But that to me is a real cold front. This one, a lot of clouds, a lot of fanfare, and a few drops, but we'll take it. Again, we got to get something started here. This, by the way, everyone's saying, well, we're already behind in the rain year. What about El Nino? Nothing to do with that. 97 started off really slow, and we don't expect yeah. the heavy rains to come in at the earliest until December. Not to say we wouldn't have storms before then, but the heavy stuff, December, January, February, March. Dry for the trick-or-treaters, you think? Dry. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Sunny and a little warm. 
I'm thinking about my costume. I'm going, yeah. well, those I have to rethink <laughs> those this. things generally don't breathe very well. You know? No, uh-uh, <laughs> so. not no. the one I got planned. All right, <laughs> not made for the long yeah. term. Yeah, no.